look at this beautiful phoenix look at this beauty yes full vulcan tech armor look at how amazing we look holy cow nobody can mess with us no i'm stuck in the bubble no 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 what's up guys it's king daddy dmac and welcome welcome back to another episode of arc survival evolved that's right playing here on the alpha tribe server using pugnacia dinos so excited doing flips man oh man guys thank you for coming hanging out joining me on the adventures as you always do please remember Show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness. Man, oh man, speaking of awesome, last episode, we tamed up this beautiful specimen, this prime evil brood mother. So very cool. Leaves us with only one more prime evil to go. That's right, the phoenix. Man, I cannot wait. We're going to go on a Phoenix hunt today. We also got almost a complete set of the Vulcan tech armor. That's right. The unbreakable doesn't require element and gives all sorts of special buffs. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy indeed. Totally love it. So, plus we have, what is it, 10,000 armor per piece. It is nuts. It is totally nuts. We're practically invincible. I'm telling you. Anyway, yes, we've got to hurry up. Go look for those Phoenix for today. Holy. And I believe the Phoenix is likely going to be over in the winter biome. Not really sure, but we'll go on the hunt. We'll see what we can find. But I'm telling you guys today, I can already tell is going to be an epic day. All right, guys. So, yeah, I'm under the water right now. Um, I picked up on the scanner a really high level Phoenix that's supposed to be right around these cords and I'm not finding it. And I, I don't ask me why I was like, it's above the ocean. I was like, maybe it's just messed up and spawning in the ocean. Well, I've already found a mana core down here. This random indom down here it's like what is going on with all this stuff why is it showing up in the ocean this is just the bizarroest thing ever ever i don't know why this stuff is showing up down here so in any case yeah look at this these megalodons just killed that was a perfect indom like max level and i don't get what's going on why creatures are spawning underneath this ocean it is so weird like all sorts of stuff that should not be spawning some somehow down here there's a spawner that a bunch of the pug creatures they just they show up down here i don't get it i do not get it i don't know how it's a thing but it is a thing apparently so yeah that kind of stinks we had a perfect max level griffin or excuse me uh phoenix and it is gone and, I mean, you saw the proof. There was an indom down here underneath the ocean. I mean, what the crap? Look at that. There's a moth spawning down here. There's some major shenanigans going on that is super duper weird. What is a moth doing underneath the ocean? I don't get it, guys. I don't get it, but just had to show you. All right, guys. After a long time hunting, I've come across yet another phoenix. And this one, pretty decent. It's really cool looking. It's got a blue belly. I love those blue belly ones. It's a 740. Yeah, this will definitely do. As soon as you see the phoenix, though, they start to just sprint towards that 50-50 location. It's kind of frustrating. But yeah, we'll see what else is over at 50-50 right now. There's probably a slew of flyers there if they even made it. Come on, buddy, bro. Fly there. Fly there. All right, here we go. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that to me again. Oh, crap. Crap. A nuggets. Come here. All right, do health potion. Why not? Come on, pay attention, and there we go. Done, didn't double hit it or nothing. Perfect, finally. Jeez, I tell you, 
these Phoenix have been the biggest ordeal of any Prime Evil ever. You have no idea, guys. All right, guys, look at this beautiful Phoenix. Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness, totally love it. Awesome level, over 1,110. Craziness, absolute craziness. So, Phoenix, they're pretty slow to boot. Very slow to boot, in fact. I mean, look at this, it's kind of pitiful. I think we need to put some of our first, nope, that's crafting skill, I gotta remember. It's got its own crafting thing, so it can craft faster. Either smelting metal or cooking all the meats and all that sort of stuff, but yes, we need to boost. ba bammy the speed. We're gonna have to boost it up real high. Anyway, we'll see what these first hits are doing. Now, we didn't get blessed with an amazing melee, but let's see. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. We're not hitting for the 17 like a lot of other ones are. You guys know that I usually use that 17,000, at least on our server, as the uh, kind of telling me whether, whether it's going to be, you know, really good average or far better than average. So... We know this one's below average on the melee, but that's okay. That's because of the stats. It got other stat distribution that makes it good. Now, we're gonna eventually sacrifice this Phoenix to become a better Phoenix. There's a special move on it that basically it destroys itself, but it lays an egg. And then we'll be able to imprint on it, get all new stats and all that sort of stuff. So even though it's kind of lackluster now, it's gonna be reborn into an amazing, amazing force to reckon with. Seriously. So, yeah, so let's at least, though, continue to level this guy up for now. Got a whole bunch of levels. Oh, I, I know we're gonna have to go super high in the speed. I'm gonna guess 500. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say right about there would be like the minimum of what we want. Let's also give it some unicorn poos. And because this guy's a flyer, we are going to be able to level this guy up super quickly. Super duper quickly. Because even if it has a lower melee to boot, yeah, much better. Much better. Isn't that crazy? That's with 500 movement speed, and it's still reasonably slow. But, bam, hitting for 40 already. Even at just that, we should be able to take on Titanosaurus now to level up. And then, once we get to about 100, I'd say we can start taking on other prime evils. Now, I'm going to be on the lookout for more Phoenix. I've gone through, I don't know, probably about 10 of them already, trying to find one with better melee than this. Believe it or not, they just don't come stock with that great of melee. It's kind of redunculous, but we'll be okay. All right, coming on in, we got a few more levels here. Holy crap, we got a whole bunch more levels here. What to happen there, brosy? All right, doing awesome. Can we find a Titanosaur? Now, this guy has other moves, too. So we'll be able to try that out. Ooh, that kind of look... What are you, bro? What are you for a second? I thought it was something even better. Doing six to six. Oh, it's an evil one. Okay, turkeys don't give that much for XP, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now, it's kind of annoying. While you're holding the shift, that also is what I believe toggles on and off possibly a move the the burning thing i don't remember but yeah you can't really turn much while you're holding shift it's kind of annoying just one of those annoying things anyway we got a titanosaur here we'll get a ton of levels get us up super high come on brosy let's go bada boom all right we're melting them now let's try the right click how is that going to do? Uh, 4,000. But it is burning the crap out of this Titanosaur. Wow, it's like a double inflamed. I actually got to be careful about this. Because if it died to that inflamed damage, we might not get the XP for it. So it's kind of nice that it doesn't get burned otherwise. Now, that's also the move, I believe, that burned us through the mount. Yeah, that's no joke, guys. No joke. In PvP, this would be pretty dang good. All right, ton more levels, boost it up. Gotta get it to max, because I wanna be able to compare it once we sacrifice it for a new baby, new and improved Phoenix. I wanna be able to compare how much better it got. So look at that, already doing 144. All right, we're, we're moving up in the world. Moving up in the world. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What do we get with the stock? 
it's got about the same as what every other um, comparably leveled Primeval has, 156. Usually I see them, you know, under the 200,000, usually around 150. All right. I'm really considering wanting more movement speed. In all honesty, it's still just too slow. I mean, here is like, I feel like this is the speed it should have started out at when we first tamed it. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got to get out of this area. The lag. That lag, though. Now, the Phoenix, wow, it's both a blessing and an annoyance. They don't only spawn over in the winter biome. They can spawn pretty much all over the map. You see a lot of them along the desert and then mostly there and then over in the winter biome. But they can, they really can show up all over the place on this map. So it makes it so that you can't just kind of sit and grind out in one area looking for them. You got to go all over the place. And then being the flyer, if you render one in and let's say there's one that was like right over there, but I missed it. I didn't see it. It would start beelining to that 50-50 and then end up despawning. Super frustrating, I tells you. Super frustrating. All right, let's keep our eyes out for possibly a Dota Wyvern, another Phoenix, a Mega P. Um, there's all sorts of stuff that can spawn in here for bosses. It's one of the most congested boss spawning areas, which is a good thing because we can use this for leveling. All right, come here, brosie. You ready to get rocked? Yeah! And that right there probably gave me over a hundred levels. Does not get much better than that. Look at that, 113, baby. Whew. All right, let's boost up this speed a bit more. All right, we'll try 600 for a little while. Let me pile this all into melee. Yeah, we're about almost maxed out, guys. This is turning out pretty well. All right, just one more boss, dude. Two, three more prime evils, and we are completely max level. Not the bad. All in a day's work. All right, do we see any more? Do we see any more? around here there's tons of bosses over here today it's kind of crazy i mean that's a good thing we're gonna go crazy uh boss fighting today is that i thought i saw no griffins griffins come here griffins those are prime primals though they do give quite a bit of xp as well all right carrying on i really like seeing another phoenix now can i shoot off this guy no i cannot that would be awesome if you could it would be pretty huge. I don't think you can shoot off of any of the prime evils, but I wish you could. I feel like you should be able to. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna carry on leveling, and uh, I'll see you back once I have enough points to get this guy to max attack. All right, returning only a few moments later, and we got an Indom, which this right there, that should bring us to the max attack. Oh man, max attack, max attack. What's it gonna be? Bada boom. Put those final levels in and come on. One, two, three, four, and five. Max attack. Let's go ahead, pile into that health so that we can hopefully take on a boss. We are now at a million and climbing. I'd say two million's probably the lowest you'd want to go to take on a boss. It gets pretty sketchy otherwise, but let's see what our max attack's hitting for now. Come on, your little birdie thing. Bam! 374. Not that great, but not horrible either. Not too horrible either. Ooh, ooh, Mega P. What are you? 660. Let me destroys you. Beautiful! That was super helpful because guess what? We can now get ourselves into multiple million in the attack. We can also pull over our Bronto now, and that's gonna put us in boss killing. Area, scenario. All right, got our three million. I'm 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 definitely happy enough with that. Let's just go ahead and land. Now it's kind of, I really get annoyed how the Phoenix don't completely land. I don't know why that is. All right, God is the earth, come here. Let's -a go. Let's get our battle buff. Come on, battle buff. Come on. Show me what you got, and... Oh, man, okay, now we have battle buff. What is it gonna hit for with the battle buff? And... Five, nine to nine, so basically six. 
well over half a million and well respectable enough. Let's just put those last little, I know I just got a level. Come on, give me that level, bro. Give it to me, I needs it, I needs it. Bada boom. All right, we, we should be good enough. Let's take on this plant, friend. Ooh, ooh, this guy, I forgot. They can make you land. It's so annoying. Seriously, bro, why you do this to me? All right, get in that plant, friend. We're doing well. We're doing more damage to it than it's doing to us. All right, not bad, not bad. And of course, of course, we're not at max HP yet. We're not fully leveled, but this should give us the levels to be fully leveled. Come on, you dumb little plant friend. All right, let's burn them up. Ooh, getting low on that, on that health. All right, almost done, and, and we can do it. Bada boom, beautiful. Get another crop plot. Oh, it's so annoying. That, uh, that crazy uh, nerf that it does to us. That effect that makes us land. All right, I think that speed felt pretty good. I think he can go up to a thousand now, if I remember correctly on these guys before they start to get too obnoxious. We'll keep it at the eight. And health is actually pretty respectable. Over five million. That's not all of our guys have that. So we got decent health in this guy. So I'm feeling pretty good about him. I'm feeling pretty good. I think it's pretty respectable, but I think we could do much better. I think we need to go back to the base and I think that we need to get this Phoenix reborn. All right, guys, back at the base. Let's do this special move. So I believe you press X, all right, and then press it again. Bada boom, and whoa, look at that craziness. And look at this beautiful egg right here. Yup, that is a Phoenix egg. That is a Phoenix egg. All right, can I, can I actually access the egg though? Come on, pick up egg. Beautiful, fertilized phoenix egg. How cool is that? All right, so let's go ahead, drop it on the ground. Let's get our nest to pick it up so we can fertilize it. Beautiful. Yeah, there we go. 1609 are the parents. So this is actually gonna be interesting how this works. It should be based on this, get the same level back that we already had, I would assume. This would be my assumption, but let's wait a moment while it incubates and I'll see you back when it's ready to hatch. What a day, what a day. Oh my goodness, you will never guess what happened, guys. You will never guess what happened. Look it, there's a phoenix right there. I was getting kind of bored waiting for the egg to be ready. And it is not just any phoenix, it is a 760 phoenix. So, yes, on that note, let's get this guy tamed. That's right, come on, buddy, bro. We gotta be careful, because there's a Mothra right there. Don't wanna mess with no Mothra while we're taming. But yeah, let's get this Phoenix done. Whoa, 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 where are you going, where are you going? Oh, crap. Oh, crap, come here. Oh, why do you gotta be in the way, Rock? Why you gotta be in the way? No, where are you going, Phoenix? I hate how these guys lose aggro so quickly. All right, let's wait for the Phoenix. Oh, hopefully they don't fight. That would be horrible. All right, looks like Mothra's going down. That's good. Can we get this guy? Just stay right there. It is convenient how they kind of just float in the same area. Can I get a hit? Come on, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, get another hit. Bada boom, bada bing. Ooh, ooh, come on. Oh crap, oh crap. Don't do your fire move on me. Don't do it, don't do it. Holy crap, be careful. Oh, he's a burning. He's a burning me like a crazy fool. Come on, oh, I can't even see guys. I cannot even see, he got a direct hit on us. All right, come here. Whoa, 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 where are you going, bro? Where are you going? No, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Oh, crap of nuggets. That is some intense, like, hitting. All right, come here. All right, got the hit. Come on, come on, get peeved at me. No, dude, don't go after the jellyfish. What are you doing? Oh, this is no good. This is no good. Oh, what are we gonna do, guys? Is that jellyfish alive? Yeah, it's alive. It is totally alive. Come on, you dumb phoenix. Come over this way. 
All right, um, I guess I could switch off to this long neck. Yeah, there we go. Come on, get peeved at me. I don't know what he's doing. What a dummy. Did I get the dumbest of all dumb Phoenix in the world? Is that is that what's going on? I don't want to knock you out this way, bro. All right, we got to take care of that jellyfish before we do anything. Jellyfish! Can I do this move while I'm underwater? No. Oh, what are we going to do? All right, look, I got to switch up to uh, this for a second so we can get the jellyfish. Take care of the jellyfish. Come here, jellyfish. Oh, man, Phoenix, stop trying to go under the water like that. Dude, this is not cool. Je oh, crap. All right, got the jellyfish. Come here, Phoenix. Come here, come after me. All right, I guess we can just knock him out. Oh, jeez, there's a dumb shark right there now. Oh, why does everything have to be so difficult? Why, why, why? All right, come here, Mr. Sharky. It's only going to do 10. I, I'm just going to waste this because I can't shoot my other gun under the water. Come here. Come on. Get knocked out. One more, Sharky. What a waste of bullets. But you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? All right, are we good now? I think we are. Get knocked out. Beautiful, knocked out. Go ahead, sink to the bottom. Do your thing. Throw, come on, please, nothing be following me. Please, just, just, yes! Did exactly what we wanted it to do. Awesome, all right, we got our Phoenix. We got a perfect tame one at last. Let's go check on how our egg's doing. Let's see if our egg is ready to be hatched. I'm really curious to see what happens if we end up getting comparable stats to our previous one or if it just completely resets. That's going to be important to know with the egg. I, I feel like we might just get all new stats. So, yeah. Good to know. So there's that. And then the next factor is do we get the same level? We had a tamed 110. All right. Unfollow. Passive. Let's get you to land, buddy, bro. We're probably going to sacrifice this guy immediately. Let's just see stat-wise how we ended up. All right, 148. That is substantially better than our other one, which is why it's important that we got that tame. Anywho, all right, looking in here. Our egg should be ready. Should be ready. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we get for the level. And boomy. All right, incubating. Yeah, look at that. So we got a 110, exactly the same level. And in our previous one, let's just go all that shenanigans. Stat-wise, yep, it looks like it retained pretty similar stat distribution. We had crazy high speed. So, yeah, that looks like it's the case. Oh, crap. Is this guy in Wander? Nope, nope. His wandering's turned off. All right, you just chill there, brosy. You just chill right there. Let's -a go. Um, so it doesn't seem like it matters if you level the guy up first. So let's go ahead, do another sacrifice, and bam! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now another interesting factoid is that you can pretty much continue to sacrifice them over and over and over again, which would only really make sense if you got different stats each time of why you'd want to do that. You know, kind of like having babies over and over and over. Can I pick up this egg, please? Why you make it so hard for me, bro? Why you do this? There we go. Pick up Phoenix egg. Awesome. All right. Let's throw in our next egg. Oh, it already got picked up. Beautiful. Sweet. So how long do we got for this guy? Are you going to grow up super slow? It looks like it's going to be super slow. We'll give it an imprint. And then by the time the imprint happens, should be ready for the next egg. But we're doing awesome, guys. Totally awesome. All right, guys, our next egg is ready, and this phoenix is doing, I think it's about ready. Ooh, just 48 seconds. All right, so while we're waiting for that, let's go hatch out our next egg. Oh, man, I can't wait to see how we going to do. Phoenix, yeah! I wonder if you can ever get twins doing that. That I'm really curious about. I'm also curious. Uh, 1140, no, that's right, that's right. 
I was going to say, it seemed like it was lower than it should have been, but nope, 1140 is what the max is after the tame. Let's go ahead and do passive, unfollow, purity full, and yeah, not bad. Not bad. Over a thousand on this guy with the melee. Let's just see stat wise. What, what's it look like? Yep, it looks like it kept the same exact stats. Pretty much, pretty much. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Definitely happy. Far superior to this one. What do you want? A Lystro egg? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding moi? What a jerk face. Lystro egg. All right, let's give all these things to our baby here. I'm not entirely sure what they eat, if they even do eat for that matter. I don't know, but we got the nanny going. Ooh, also interesting factor. That's a male, that's a female. Now, I don't believe they're supposed to be allowed to breed, but we probably with the mutators, I, I bet you we could get them to breed. That would be pretty interesting. All right, let's see if we have any Lystro egg, uh, kibble. Lice, oh man, really, really? You gonna make me do this? Here we go. Oh, thank goodness, we have one. We got that from probably killing a boss of some sort. Come here, buddy, bro. Now, our nanny would imprint all the way, but might as well just do this. Get it over with. Yeah, fully imprinted, beautiful. Now, what this should do, though, is we should have mate boost on these guys, which that itself is pretty dang cool. Now, only 3.3% done, and that's after roughly 10 minutes of hatching. So these guys are gonna take a hot second. Certainly, we can't just sit here and watch them. Um, I think we should try and spend, I, I definitely wanna see these guys fully grown today, but I'd like to possibly try and get the pants, the final piece of the Vulcan gear today, while we're waiting for them to be done and ready. So why don't we go ahead and do that? All right, guys, we've got our first spawn breaker. Come here, spawn breaker. Get, ooh, ooh, I didn't mean to launch like that. Oh no. Come on, turn the crap around. All right. Ooh, there's two spine breakers. We gotta be careful about this, guys. If you get two spine breakers together, they give each other mate boost. That could be bad news bears. Seriously bad news bears. And I can see the other spine breaker right there. All right, come on, buddy, bro. Ain't got all day. Ain't got all day. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, crap. Come on, give me my boost. I need my boost. Cheesy peds. Stay away from the bubble. Stay away from that bubble. All right, so we might get lucky, get the pants in the first try, or it may take 10 plus spine breakers to get the pants. I do not know, but we're gonna do our best. All right, we're hitting for 1.3 million now. Do not mess with me, brosy. I love Hades. Our very, very best of the best. Come on, brosy. You can do it. All right, doing awesome. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Do a little health potion there. All right. Doing awesome. Thank God this guy can't hit. Oh crap, that bubble is getting close. Thank God this guy can't hit through the mound. It's possible the bubble does. I don't think it does, but. All right, let's go, Spine Breaker. Get annihilated. Give me those pants. Please give me those pants. Man, this one's a toughie. It feels like it's lasting longer than most of the other ones do. All right, and. and oh, the bubble, the bubble. Come on, get the kill. Got the kill. All right, we got another helmet. Got another helmet, not what we wanted. Let's continue on, next spine breaker. All right, the next spine breaker, let's do it. Wish me luck, oh crap, 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 no, 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 I'm stuck in the bubble. No, no, no! Oh, this is the worry that you have to have. Do you get it now? How bad that bubble is? I can't believe that just happened. So frustrating. So very frustrating. I can't believe it. Yeah, Spine Breaker, he'll, he'll mess you up. He will mess you the crap up. And I'm not sure if I have anyone else that I'm super duper comfortable with taking on a Spine Breaker. Oh my goodness. All right, so positive side of things. 
that amazing Dotorex that we had is actually one of two. We got twins. I don't know if you guys remember this, but we got twinsies. So our other one, I believe, is called Oblivion. I believe is our, our top one. Yeah. Yep, Oblivion. So I got to level up Oblivion, and then that's not that much of a loss. However, we just lost our Bronto, which isn't the biggest deal in the world. I mean, we can get another Bronto. Oh, man. But that is just rough. You cannot mess around with these guys. I can't believe we lost Hades. Our very, 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 very best of the best. Oh, what you gonna do? All right, guys. Well, anyway, let's not cry over spilt milk. Let's just hop back on our pony and let's continue. How are, how are our guys doing, by the way? How are they doing? Oh, man, this is gonna take forever. We'll do our best, though. We will do our best. All right, let's get this guy leveled up. I'll do it. Look at his split. Oh, and we got to get revenge on that spine breaker. What a jerk face. All right, guys, coming along very nicely. Very nicely indeed. Man, look at how strong this guy is already. It's nutballs. Imagine if this guy was actually stronger than Hades. Oblivion, the twin brother. All right, um, we just need to get a few more decent kills, and we should be golden. I thought I saw another Dodo Rex around here. Yup, yup. Look at this guy, 680, get wrecked, one shot, baby. Yes, so this should get us to max attack now. Let's see. Oh man, I can't believe that happened. It's so embarrassing. One, two, three, four, and five, max attack. All right, let's get this guy boosted. We have got to get revenge on that spine breaker. We got hope he didn't despawn. He doesn't deserve to get away with it that easily. Oh, man. We're going to have to get another Battle Bronto, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So, let me keep on going. I'm going to finish maxing this guy out. I'll come back in, I guess, once we find a uh, a nice terrestrial Bronto. Doesn't Level doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters. We just got to get it knocked out. All right, guys, our next order of business is the Battle Bronto, which is just right there. Let's just clear out the baddies. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Let's actually use this gun. I think it will take less shots. All right, what's your deal, bro? What is your deal? Oh, I hate this. Okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah, see this? Only three shots to get them down. Ain't no thing. We'll just use a nice little golden tree and be done with it. All right, hopefully there's no baddies around. Come on, hurry up and tame. Oh crap, golden tree, where are you? Yeah! All right, guys, we are golden, we are golden. All right, guys, we are more or less back to normal. Got our battle Bronto on the shoulder. We've got Oblivion. Come on, show us how much you hit for now, Oblivion. Show us with the battle Bronto boost. All right, these guys might be mate boosted. Oh, show me the boost, bro. Yeah, 1.3 million. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we're good there. I'm not putting any speed in this guy. It is all going into that health. We want to get the health as high as possible, and we are maxed out. It's 7.1 million. That is crazy strong, guys. Insanely crazy strong. Now, we're ready to go after that spine breaker, get our revenge, but I'm not gonna do that right away. First and foremost, because in case we lose Oblivion, we're, we're toast, guys. We are toast. We will have lost our very best guy. Nothing we could do about it. So on that note, let's uh, do some breeding real quick. Let's do some breeding. Let's go, come here, brosy. Oh, oh, oh. Where's the mutators? Yeah, we gotta mutate again. I'm gonna breed our Oblivion with a big dummy. Yeah! We can do it, we can do it. All right, so big dummy 3.0, definitely the way to go. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead, toss some element in there. Toss some element in there. Create mutation pulse, awesome. Create mutation pulse, and behavior enable mating behavior
behavior enable mating awesome all right so they should be breeding up now sweet all right so i'm gonna get a bunch of eggs laid just so that we can be insured to get at least one that has the stats of oblivion and you know what big dummy's got higher health so we may even get a far better one 172 into the health versus 168 awesome 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 all right guys so are these dudes they're doing okay only 20 percent done it's gonna suck they may not get done today they may not get done but we'll do our best we are definitely getting revenge in spinebreaker so i'll see you guys right to back okay we've got a ton of eggs now ton of eggs look at it at least one of these is gonna have really good stats so i am happy on that front our dudes here how are they doing oh man only 30 percent done it's redunculous redunculous i tell you anyway let's go get a revenge now let's go make it a thing that spine breaker is not getting away with the shenanigans it pulled on us oh no sorry bob all right come here oblivion let me grab that off you we're maxed out seven million health hitting for 1.3 million ain't nobody gonna mess with us nobody so let's head over there i'll meet you at the spine breaker all right here it is here it is do not mess with me bro do not mess with me all right just back up stay away from that bubble we learned our lesson the last time holy cow you tick me off so much oh crap oh crap oh crap oh i hate when that happens the bubble oh good lord all right come on brosy yeah do not mess with me all right don't get trapped in the bubble we got to keep on backing up i can't believe that happened all right let's do it let's do it thank goodness we had twins i could not imagine what we'd do right now guys if we did not have a twin of hades that would have been so bad all right let's do it let's do it as long as we don't get trapped in that bubble we don't even need to use a single health potion uh oh 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 he's he's getting too close all right oh all right let's run around this way come on bro yeah all right just keep backing up keep backing up all right let's hope let's cross our fingers we get lucky and get that final piece of vulcan gear oh crap he's got no no oh we almost got trapped in the bubble again guys holy crap that would have been bad that would have been real bad all right let's go holy all right let's finish him off come on holy crap he's almost there almost there and we got him and we got the pants talk about lucky yes we did it guys we did it oh it was a long day a long journey a lot of badness happened a lot of mistakes were made Whew. but in the end we were victorious and that is all that matters yeah so very epic all right so let's uh let's get those bammy let's get those pants all boosted up i can't wait to see our full gear set oh my goodness what a day what a day indeedy and here it is ten thousand armor but ooh, we can upgrade this one twice there we go beautiful 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 all right let's see how glorious this looks holy cow i cannot believe it we finally finally did it bob bammy yes full vulcan tech armor look at how amazing we look holy cow nobody can mess with us all right let's do the can we do the boost how do we do, how do we, i i gotta look this up how we do it all right let, let's look at what the vulcan pants are, are doing for us let's see what the scenario is exactly all right so where is it armor our armor sets and vulcan leggings so these have the functionality of tech and volcanic combined if that's the case i'm trying to figure out the run button what 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 did they make it what did they make the run button it's not working for me 
All right, I got a fix. It was actually unassigned. So you got to do the pistol whip that does the running, just like normal tech armor. And look at us. How awesome is this? Oh my goodness. I have no element in my inventory. Does not even require element. That is so cool. All right, all right. Let's 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 boost up into the air. Come on, bro. Boost up. Boost up. Fly forward and yeah, we can do the Superman. How cool is that? Oh, I love me some Vulcan tech armor. It is what's up. It is totally what's up. Oh, it is so awesome. All right, guys. Well, we did pretty good today. We, we completed getting the gear. We got the Phoenix. I really wanted them to be fully grown, but it's going to take probably another couple hours till that happens. So on that note, why don't we go through the comments and let's go see what our dinos are going to be named for today. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments, and yes, it is that time. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode, and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. Just remember, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and you got to comment down below. It is just that easy. So for today, we have the crazy, awesome Broodmother to name, and it will be known as none other than the Froggy Mother. Oh, I love it so very much. So very cool. Oh, man. So for next episode, guys, we have got to name our two amazing Phoenix. That's right. They still got a ways to go. I mean, I'm telling you, this was ours and they're only 46 percent done. So hopefully at the start of next episode, they should be fully grown. We can check them out. But man, we got full Vulcan tech armor today. Awesome Phoenixes. And we got to get revenge on that dang spine breaker. Oh my goodness, ticks me off. But you know what? It paid off in the end. We got the pants. We got the pants. So, on that note, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. That's right. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily art. A daily arc awesomeness and as always guys I'll see you tomorrow thanks again and peace out